Oh, all right. So we're back with the Mokal Empire after a two week hiatus. After a, after you guys had uh, traveled to Port Phobos and met with Mimu, Fixer, and various other old acquaintances around Port Phobos, details were found out that there is another navy heading for Nuneria of some strange folk to the south. And from there, you guys decided that you would go into Mistra's arena using Linearos's puzzle ball. However, inside, you went, wait a minute, can we uh, take a rain check? Disappeared, bought some supplies, then came back upon where you were met with a different avatar there who told you the rules again. Do I need to reiterate the rules for anyone? No. No, oh. but could you reiterate... No. I'm sure someone's fire bolted at some point. Did she yeah. have fire resistance or not? Is that a, yeah, is I that, think so. Is that a weird thing? But yeah, yeah, it looked like she did. Yeah. I think like three P, three of us even fire bolted till we've finally yeah. got it. Mm -hmm. And you stepped into your first arena and faced against the beautiful and ugly queen El Nadaha, whereupon at the start she swathed herself in beautiful illusions to try to trick you and she seems to be doing it every now and then uh, making it difficult for you to attack her if i remember correctly she summoned some earth elementals uh all wind set up a globe of invulnerability and was like nah go fuck <clears> yourself and sat inside it uh then i slowly began to move over punching my way through and i think we ended it on like round five or something the round five so right at the top we will begin this session with all winds turn Oh shit! Why am I starting? Because that's it. Was oh, your no. turn? <laughs> Fuck! Magic missile, go! Nice. Look at that damage. Okay, so yeah, pointing your finger towards her, and bang, bang, bang! Three of them strike her. Let me check. I need to check my own. That damage roll is not correct by the looks of it, or is it? It kind of is. It's oh, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's this time. That's what I complained yeah. about last week with the way that it's calculated. Mm. It's fucking retarded. It's alright, though. Six damage is still six damage, though, right? Panic spell, start the session. <laughs> <laughs> All in. Anything else you would like to do? I don't think so. Alright. So, on initiative count 20, she brings her hand up. I just couldn't hear myself through Curtis, I think. Weird. It's because Curtis doesn't know what a mute button is. <laughs> and she brings her hand up, and immediately the illusions begin to surround her again, making her look like this beautiful ancient queen of old. Macra, she points towards you, points towards Alwyn. You leap in with your Radiant Kopesh and strike at him. You want to make the rolls you can, if not, I will. Okay, next one. I must bring in twice. You are using everything to your, your ability to try to kill all. Oh, is it my go, right? Yep. Cool, so all oh, in. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> yeah, so all in, struck twice by the Radiant Kopesh. Uh, you may make a wisdom saving throw, Macro, at the end of your turn. True. Let me actually check your character. Stay away from my queen. Yeah, I think you're. Uh, by the looks of it, you're perma charmed. Yeah, I take two away from that. I've got a plus zero to wisdom, so uh, I can't imagine you getting unwisd or nope. charm here. No, nope, you're now charmed for the rest That's of the combat. Why? We're going for resilience wisdom. All right, so to have some fun, you, you might as well do your, anything to your best of the ability to try to kill your own party. Why not? But I think that's your turn. <laughs> Um, she uses a legendary action to attack Alwyn with her fists. This is just bloody rude. Looks like it's going to strike you if you want to do anything. Uh. Nah. Alright, you're struck. I'll risk it. Cleaning the chest, breath whooping, whooshing out of your lungs for 21 bludgeoning. Elzef, your turn. Uh, 
Get muted. I wanted to be <laughs> muted. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, turret shoots the woman. Okay. That's a hit. Oh, look at these tendies. I'm going straight to the moon. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to shocking grasp her. Oof, that is a hit. Uh, five extra. And that's my turn. Alright, she looks very bloodied now. But it is the start of her turn. Oh, the game is paused, isn't it? Whoops. Alright, so she will uh, cast uh, one single spell. She brings up her hand and begins casting, if anyone wants to do anything. Who's she casting at? Uh, doesn't know that she's casting at anyone. She's not targeting anyone Give with the spell. Again. And she's just forming what looks like a crystal ice sphere in her hand. Alright. Do you... what is that a level 3? It is. Make a charisma check then. Fails. Cool story, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and ask Arne if Laniros would do anything about this. Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah, That's you see well. the counter spell. You see the weave wrap round it and then just dissipate. Huh? I think that should do it. All right, and she brings up the freezing sphere, and as she goes to cast it and slam it to the ground, forming a you, you would know a massive explosion of ice. You just and it shatters as her hand slams against the ground, and she just looks at her empty palm. You know, yep. So that was her turn, and that's when the illusion fails, revealing her kind of muscular, uh, kind of ugly side. Lanerus, it's your turn. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned that it looks like uh, Macra is definitely under the effects of a strong charm effect. Mm -hmm. um, uh, with that, what I do is that I, there's nothing I can do about it, or just that it's. It I... seems very powerful. Mm -hmm. Okay. <sighs> well, what do? But she's looking pretty hurt, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, she's got multiple wounds. They're not exactly bleeding, but she's got these massive gashes and, and like, rents in her flesh and muscle. Hmm. Well... <sighs> Sorry, Alan, but I think the most effective defense is not offense here, so... Hmm? Well, I'll just keep putting in some damage. Alright, let's see what she gets for a con save. She rolled an 8. So that would be a good hit. Okay. And then she has disadvantage on her next attack roll. Um, yeah, that's my turn now. Yeah, okay, so... Oh, sorry, actually, no, that's not... Because let me add some damage to that, because I have a few... <sighs> uses of power surge stored up. Okay. So whenever I do, whenever I counter spell or dispel magic, that will do that, and I have three of those stored up, so I'll use those. They do extra, do extra damage. Yeah, so it's just one for now. So it's uh, half my wish level, so another eight. All right. Yep, solid hit. Uh, the frostbite hits her. She kind of falls back into her own earth elemental. And then kind of writes herself. And at the end of your turn, if that's the end of your turn. It is. She will swing out to hit Maisie with her fist, but with disadvantage, correct? Because of the frostbite. And she still hits Maisie. Mm -hmm. Brutality. For 15 damage. And then it's Maisie's turn. Uh, Eldritch Blast. Miss, I do presume. Uh, yeah, just rebounds off of her armor. It's roll again, then I twice. Yep. Yeah. Well, you get three attacks with Eldritch Blast, I think. Yeah, skoosh skoosh. Did you take Hedge Magic? You didn't, did you? No. Uh, no. 
Alright, so they are solid hits. The second two, one hits her in the gut. She kind of almost doubles over from it. And then the next one hits her clean in the forehead, knocking her back up. You see her arms are kind of fl like kind of flailing around. And she's t like taking deep, whooping breaths where she's been winded. Is there anything else you want to do, Maisie? Let's have a look at positions. Uh, if I move, she's going to get me. Uh, I don't suppose she gets pushed back because of that, does she? Uh, no, because the elemental's in the way. Yeah, in that case. Uh, no, I'm going to end my turn there. Okay. Uh, at the end of your turn, she swipes out at you with a backhand, Maisie, but she's so hurt that you're easily able to just kind of duck and weave out of the way. The Earth Elemental boof, disappears, reappears here throughout the ground. Fuck Can that. Maisie and Orwin both make uh, athletics checks or strength checks, depending if you've got proficiency or not. It looks like he's going to grab you. Oh. Fuck, alright. It's as good as I can get. You have to do a strength. Yeah. Alright, so uh, both hands come out. All win. You manage to grab hold of the hand and just push it to one side with a sudden burst of unrecognisable strength. However, Maisie, it just wraps round you and you see him begin to pick you up. Uh, you know next round he'll probably just throw you off the edge. But, oh, when it's your turn. Oh, um... Was it just a grapple? Will... Yeah, yeah. Well, he went to try to grapple both of them with his one attack, one attack. Yeah, is yeah. your dex any better than your strength, Maisie? Uh, it is, I do believe. It's, yeah, it would make it 13, so still sure not. Could... Okay, no acrobatics uh, proficiency. Oh, sorry, I see what you mean now by athletics and other things. Yep, mm -hmm. makes sense. Yep. Sorry, Owen, it's your turn. Alright, I'm just lightning bolting it. Oh, fuck. Uh, yeah. Um, let me roll a deck save. He rolls a natural 20, I'm afraid. Rude. Oh, it hurt, though. Real hurt. Anything else? Uh, anything? Uh, no. Alright. At the end of your turn, she does swing for you, but like I said, in so much pain, uh, she's so hurt that she's, the, the blows are coming in slow. Um, however, Macra, at the start of your turn, do what you want. As long as it ends up hurting one of your teammates, I don't mind. Right, do I sound significantly more bad or better or the same? Average. Average sound. I'll just do it through me here, but instead of the microphone on the webcam. Um, Macro tries to stop the machine going brrr. He'll uh, recklessly see. attack him twice. 27, 27 for 17 17. Alright, I'll apply some damages. Yeah. All right, yeah, it looks like you've done a good, good couple of hits on it. Anything else? Yeah, I think he's going to a second wind. Oh no, got no second winds left apparently. Never mind. No, he's not going to do anything. All right. Apart from end his turn. Yeah, that that it's weird because that microphone's got much better kind of like general sound, but not not good background sound. We can hear every crunch. And every, like, movement of anything else, it's weird. Oh. Like, we can hear you a little bit better, but everything else at the same time, it's... I'll keep myself muted then. Um, okay. All right, so, Elzef, your turn. I'm muted. I, and this is going to surprise you, I'm going to shoot it with the cannon, and then shocking grasp. Okay. All right, yeah. So then you run forward with the shocking grasp. Did I get another saving throw? Yeah, but there's no point. You can't pass. Ah, fair enough. <laughs> Sorry, but is that fair enough. Yeah, I think it is. However, Elsa, if you like shoot her, and one of her arms comes flying off, 
from the forceful blast, and then you run in with a shocking blast. And tell me, how do you finish her off? Hey. Just, you know, grab her leg, and the shocking grass starts, and Elsa has like, oh, it's stuck. Oh, shit. Still shocking, yeah? Uh, <laughs> it's like DC, you're just stuck to it. <laughs> and uh, it goes on until her eyes burst out. Lovely. And Elsa is like, oops. It goes on till her eyes burst out. Well done. All right. Yeah. So when she falls down to the ground, there's a heavy. The earth elemental vanishes. And you're all kind of left alone for about a brief five seconds before to yourself, where, the way you had entered, a round portal opens up. And beyond it, you can see the same misty, heavenly marble flooring. That you saw before. Is Macro still looking like he wants to kill us? No, Macro's shaking his head to the left and right, kind of like just coming out of the trance he was in. You think these new magical powers give me, you know, some resistance to that shit? Ugh. Ugh. Um, don't forget about the fact that you do have arcane deflection. Oh shit, yeah. I could have used. Wait, does that only work on spell? Oh no, it just improves me. DC. Uh, whatever you fail a saving throw, you can take a plus four. I'm really glad yeah, I should have been went with that. this uh, complicated multi class build to get options and then he just doesn't use them. Yep. It's, not even, it's not even that complicated. I'm just making a fucking meal of it. Alright, so, um. What are you guys doing? Head to the portal, I guess. Can't All see right. one, so wherever it happens to be. Um, well, did she just disappeared into ev no. like everything she had disappeared. No, she like fell. Like I said, she fell back <laughs> at the ground, and then the earth elemental disappeared. Ah, sorry. Okay, well, then I'll check if she has any equipment on her, of course. I'm not leaving without okay. checking. Hey. And well, then I want to have a little investigation around the shrine slash throne area as well. All right. I wouldn't be uh, murder hobos without the hoboing. Do you want me to roll something? Or? Yes, oh sorry, investigation check. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so looking around a person, she has several um, expensive looking bangles, um, bracelets and jewellery pieces. Uh, around the throne, nothing. Okay. Um, well, take the jewellery pieces. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> if you want to note down that you have uh, El Nadaha, I'll actually post it in the chat if you want. Uh, yes, I'll start adding these to the notes for party in the journal. Alright. Should I add something else, or that's it? That's it. Like I said, uh, I'm, I'm encompassing the entire kind of lot of a jewellery that you, you took, rather than right. individual cool. pieces. Um, like I said, around the throne, you don't find much at all. It looks to just be a stone carved throne with uh, three sets of walls behind it, depicting kind of like old murals. That's about it. All right. Well, that was uh, interesting. Now, please uh, refrain from doing that in the future if you can, Macro. He shrugs. <laughs> Drama blast. Hmm. Very well, let's get out of here then. Alright, and as you leave, previously, uh, there was, like, a female then a male avatar. Now, you see a tiefling avatar standing before you dressed in white gossamer, his arms folded, his muscular covered in tattoos. Welcome back. Ah yes, the three genders. Male, female, and tiefling. <laughs> <laughs> it's true! <laughs> No, and, and he looks around, uh, he's a male tiefling, I'm going to add that, and uh, says, take a seat, and out from the marble comes five kind of high-backed chairs, he says, do you wish to continue, or do you wish to rest? Uh, and this is where we'll ask you to do what you didn't do at the start of the session when you prompted for it, which is to remind us of the rules, we get the short rest in between, right? 
You are allowed a short rest in between each uh, bout. Yes. Um, okay, so if a full rest is tried to be taken, you are banished from the realm and you fail. Uh, each round one grants the hero a pool of four shards, arcane shards. So currently you all have four. So if you want to note nice. down your personal pool, because um, soon you may get to spend them. Um, uh, can I increase my arcane shards uh, with investing into GME stock, or is that a no-go? Can I only do that afterwards? You can only do that afterwards, I'm afraid. Can also, I can I bet against Curtis's shards? Can I bet that he is gonna have less shards by the end of this uh, whole thing? Okay, that was the last. That was the last joke. I'm sorry. He's so obsessed. I'm mm -hmm. so obsessed. Okay. Don't also, do stocks, kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I said, the other rules are: if you are defeated, you will be put on the sideline to watch your fellows continue on. Magic such as Revivify will bring you back into the arena. Furthermore, during a short rest, a hero can sacrifice eight of their arcane shards to bring you back. When you arrive back in the arena, you are at one HP, but you are allowed a short rest after this. You may spend one uh, one arcane shard between rounds to roll the dice against the fates. Fates. This can be a curse or a boon, so risk it if you dare. I'm good. So you've got four. All of you now have four for winning, and you can get a short rest now. I would like a rest. I would like a rest also. Remember, Maisie, if you have any pack magic left, you can just spend it before you... I do not, which is why I'd like a rest. Yeah, fair enough. Yay. Do our, our hit dice go down as usual, yeah? Yeah, yeah, as you spend hit dice, they go down. So, like I said, you have to kind of like... I'm in a long rest because I've not got all my hit dice for some reason. And I imagine that's incorrect because we've definitely long rested recently. Don't... You click long rest, it will restore all your hit points, which you can't so, do. Do that, and then remember what HDM was. Yeah, I was dropping that back down to where it was. So, <coughs> seven, and then that's right, and then that's right, and then I use War Age, and then my second one comes up with short rest anyway. Um, It comes up with a weird option. <clears throat> like, yeah. When I go to roll, it just clicks normal, or, it's giving me a normal or critical hit, or do I just click normal? Yeah, just click normal. Yeah, okay. One. I see. Oh, it does it all automatically. How delightful! Three. <laughs> and did Maisie? Um, I gave everyone temp, yeah. Yeah, and and everyone gets temporary hit, hit points from Maisie as well. Which is what thirteen. It's no it's sixteen. Seventeen. Well, no, I think it's ten plus your charisma. Uh, no, your level plus your charisma modifier. So. Maisie, oh, gets, 21, then. Maisie gets 21, but everyone else gets half of that. No, they don't. It's half level, 13. No, sorry. Fucking hell. 8 plus charisma, 12. No, 13. So, to so the rocket was right. <laughs> My math is fucking terrible. <laughs> I blame the fact oh, that yeah, I was yeah, up yeah. at fucking 5 in the morning. Give me that. All right. Me too. How many temporary hit points do I get? 13. <laughs> Your temporary hit points are equal to the value of your AMC stock. Oh, don't, don't, don't even I bought more. <laughs> I'm using the dip. Diamond hands, baby. I'm going to the moon. Are you? Okay. Probably not. <laughs> I'm going to go for a wee quickly if that's right with you, Lim. Okay, yeah. Well, no, we're going to... We're gonna start straight on to we're gonna start straight onto yeah. the battle, but well, I'm just gonna ask if anyone wants to spend any arcane shards on boons, or anyone wants to check the shop. I do want to check the shop. Yes. Right. Sure. So as you do, the uh, male tiefling in his white outfit shakes his uh, passes, waves his hand, and in front of him comes a pedestal, and in it, illusions rise up, and he says, "The gods currently have these on offer." These. Ah. Okay. Oh, you know I've got to be saving up for that 25. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I thought people might. But uh, that means winning all of the rounds. So... They go for many things. Wow. And you notice the note I put in. <laughs> so, yeah. 
I mean, if you manage to get that far, you deserve it. I mean, you really do. <laughs> Five thousand <clears throat> last round, but that's fifty. Well, he's clearly clear, clear had enough of this uh, current campaign. No, he told me in private. He's like, I wrote a whole another short story for level twenty because Rocket wouldn't shut up. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I said, I said that. That is literally what you said. No, I didn't. That's not word for word. I said. I'm going to quote it here. This is what he sent me, right? He said, Adrian, you have a massive dick. You must be really happy. Also, <laughs> we're continuing the campaign past level 20. Uh, <laughs> wow. I forgot, okay. I forgot what my initial lie was. Uh, yeah, was. I, I never, I'd like to say uh, live that that's not what I said. <laughs> um, Adrian. I said... Then Rocket and Arne and everyone said that doing a level twenty campaign, like like as level twenty, they've never done it and they would like that. So I created a little bit of an extended storyline afterwards for everyone to do on their max level. You know, it's not quite right. I said I want level forty. Well, maybe I already had an idea for epic levels, but you just like can't let me keep a secret. Yeah, that's his, that's his fucking secret, Rocket. He has implemented an epic level system, but he won't give us level ups. Right. <laughs> this is obviously getting out of hand. We're going to be right back. What the fuck?
Uh, oh yeah, so the Gauntlets of Elgin Master, as you can tell, are a very powerful um, item for a Warlock. Uh, do you want me to share each of the unique items for each that I'd made for each of you? You don't have to obviously buy them, I just made them for... <coughs> yes, please. Uh, you the can't... fuck is this pin from? Is that right. the only once, Liam? <laughs> what? On the, the Aether Cloak. What, the restore the spell slot? Uh, Fuck. Sorcery points. Mm. Uh, sorry, the spells. Yeah, it's once a day. It says it restores at next dawn. Ooh. That's difficult because that could be really, really shit or really, really good. It's such a broad spectrum. It could literally be four. I know. I know. Oh, those are pretty tasty. Alright, let's give this one to Adrian as an observer. Just so you know, Curtis's item isn't done. And why the hell is he? Yeah, Curtis's item isn't done yet, so if you get it, I was actually going to ask him personally, kind of like, because uh, I was confused. I was literally just going to give you a plus three fucking massive hammer, because I just didn't know what to give you your character. <laughs> and um, the Diplomat's immunity bangles are now shared to Arne. Something that gives me fucking immunity to fear and charm, and that'd be a happy boy. <laughs> they're, not, they're not yet if they're a journal entry. They're not a journal entry, it's under items. Put in like a twenty-eight cost item that just says like new microphone. <laughs> uh, Alex, stop it! You're not getting a level up either. Yeah, you, what, you can Alex, get a level up when they get a level up. Well done, Alex. Fight the power. <laughs> the power? What did I do to you? What did I bring down the patriarchy? It's not even the okay. pin that's bothering me anymore. It's, it's the two pneumatic pumps on the left side seem to be higher than the ones on the right side, and I don't understand why they should be identical. We are truly fascinated, Adrian. <laughs> I'm not... <laughs> it's just truly almost, fascinated. Almost as fascinating as GameStop stocks. How many, uh, yeah. how many things did I fuck up on this? I'm just, oh! Alright, oh. so, um, I've shared most of the items except for Curtis's, obviously, because that's going to come later. I doubt we're going to get through all the battles this week anyway, or enough to buy it. Um, uh, however, the rest of the items are very um, self-explanatory, except for the five unique ones at the bottom. You want to purchase them. You don't have to, obviously. I mean, some of you may not even make it to that point. Take I think me moaning about the combat track has worked. It's staying on my screen now. Let me know, after you guys have had your short rest, if you want to purchase anything. There's not much okay. to purchase. Or if you want to move on. No, we're fighting. Mm -hmm. Let's go, let's go. Do you want to, do you want to split the... Uh... Gloves of crafting. He goes to Al's half. No. Alright, he said no. I have to save up for this fucking artificer's uh, cube. Do you like it? <laughs> I feel like I kind of have to buy it. Um... Oh my god. There are some pretty gnarly fucking cards in this deck. <laughs> You're still looking at the deck of many things. Like, <laughs> I just want I to wish ruin I could have it. <laughs> Alright, um, as you guys have finished your rest, uh, the avatar ahead of you points towards another portal on the other side of the platform. Beyond, you see a su sunny kind of sea, an island setting. It says, your next opponent will be Amit, a legendary creature. For many, many millions of years ago. The gods like this creature. Defeated? And you might be awarded bonus cards. But, to get that, none of you must drop unconscious this battle. Yeah, we're going to apologise in advance, lads, sorry. The uh, tiefling smiles and then points towards the portal 
when you are ready. The games of divinity do not wait. Except yep, for when we take a short rest. Yeah, and to, to them, waited up until this point. To them, it is a mere second. Oh, now that makes even less sense. Uh, As a way then, lads, I'm actually quite looking forward to it. I like the last one. <laughs> Got a little bit hairy. You've got message. Curtis. Curtis's sound sounds like he's at a damn restaurant. I actually hadn't noticed, Max. if I'm honest. Alright, so you step through the portal and are immediately greeted with... A beautiful sunny island around you. Um, the water ripples and the sea just goes on all the way to the horizon. That's 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 it. Oh, isn't that quaint? The portal slams closed behind you. Dragon, we're on it. Ooh. Oh, like a turtle, yeah. Are we at, is this the highest point up here? It is. I will ask you all to roll initiative. Just so we kind of got initiative order going. Um, and then you can all make perception checks. Is that in order, or do you just want the perception check? I want the initiative, then the perception check. Love how like macro old deception. That's so in character. <laughs> I don't see shit. Especially not giant lion turtles. I mean, I've got a pass for 21, but apparently I'm really not paying attention. Because you're already imagining it teaching you how to energy bend. Mm -hmm. Teaching you how to energy. Oh god! <laughs> I like the avatar reference, though. All right. So there's a brief moment when all of you are kind of like, like unsettled. Especially Elzif. You look around and you could swear there's like you get that feeling of being watched, as if something's about to go down, and then immediately. Something swipes past your head, Elzef, and Laniros, you are struck by something sharp, and it rips down your back. Let me... Ah, yes, of course. How could we not notice the giant undead flying horse creature? Uh, it actually was invisible, but... And roll just enough stealth to get by. I don't, I don't believe that this thing can go invisible. Why not? It looks too crazy. It's like naysay is gonna naysay. I know, right? Do you want to see the token art? Yeah, make the token large. Come on, I just already had food. Oh. Look at it. It's hideous. However, it is Maisie's turn. Nice. I've got uh, no fuck to Zeno morph. <laughs> <laughs> um, she's gonna take a good few steps back. You got this one, Macro. It swipes out you. Oh. We have an attack on that. Yep, and hits you for uh, fourteen slashing and seven necrotic. Not very nice, in the least, or in the Skellington's And it book. is kind of drawling this bloody kind of, like, drawl, and it's making a sound like, kind of like, a high-pitched hyena. <laughs> okay, I am going to try this, but I'm just going back through everything so I don't act like a noob. Uh, I'm going to go with Synaptic Static. All right. Oh, I'll place it as well. Hang on. So I'll place it so that it doesn't hit the other two. 
Yeah, it fails the saving throw. Beast. Yeah, seems to not like that at all. The moment the synaptic static hits, it lets out Akini screech, kind of like throws its head back, and Elzef, it like spikes on top of its like uh, armor down its back, scratch and screech across your plate mail. Anything else? No. That's it for me. So it minuses a d6 from its attack rolls and ability checks. Cool. Yep. Alright, all in. Yeah. Is it another thing we to order? Or... Oh yeah, it should be. I've made it uninvisible. Hmm? Ah. Okay. All right, so yeah, the f I'm assuming you the first fireball. What did you quicken? It's quickened. All right, so the first one hits. Uh, seems to really affect it. Like the f does not like fire. The moment the fire hits it, the the flesh around it just like scolds. The second one misses. Uh... All right, so the thing. Let me check. Nice. Quick, 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 quick. quick. Moves, it takes a step back and then charges. Can Laneros, Elzef, and Orwin all make strength saving throws? Can't charge up a cliff. Can charge up the fuck it wants. That's strength, did you say? Yep. Yeah. Charge there. I'm buffing myself a flash of genius. Okay. I didn't need to. Right, so. All win. And Laneros are knocked prone. Both take 29 bludgeoning damage. No, thank you. Let me know if I fail. I might want to do something about it. You did fail. Twenty-one. Alright, so yeah, you bring up your magical shield, managing to prevent yourself being thrown to the ground violently. You do take fifteen bludgeoning damage, and so does uh Elzef as it charges through. Orwin is not prone. Yeah, the creature takes eight force damage. Eight, nice. Okay. While you are prone, Orwin, it unleashes all three of its multi attacks. Oh, wonderful. Anything you'd like to do while on the floor? Uh, like it's gonna hit? Looks like it's about to rip you to shreds. I'll try and shield then. And that puts your AC to? 23. Alright, so the first claw comes down, you bring up the shield in panic, like just scratches off of it with an arcane deflection. With sparks of the weave fly up, and then the claw finds underneath your ribs, it throws you kind of about three foot in the air, and then catches you in its jaw and just throws you one side down to the ground, and then just rips you to shreds. You take a total of 70 damage. Sounds nice. I don't love the description like that. It's like, let me take 13 damage. <laughs> <laughs> Elzef, your turn. Uh, I just fireball the thing. Let's let's evaluate the situation first. Just the 16. Yeah, skids, just skitters off of its armor. Oh, good turn. I'm done. Hmm? Lanyros. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Does this thing have eyes? Mm -hmm. No, it does not. Mm. So it's sensing us rather than seeing us, yeah? Your character is intelligent enough to recognize that, yes. <laughs> I mean, I'd, I'd wager even Macra would be intelligent enough to see that. Mm. Um, <laughs> okay, that might be pushing it, I agree. Um, uh, okay, well, let's see then. Let's... Uh, Let's see how far we can get with this. Let's uh, put a whole monster on it. It fails the same throw, but chooses to succeed. Ah, oh, you sneaky bastard. Hey, that's what they're there for. Well, yes, but having multiple in one day is a bit... <laughs> no, but fair enough. <clears throat> okay, and then I will... One, two, three, four, five, six... Oh, fuck, I forgot to do its lair action. Oh, I'll do that next round. Uh, at the end of Lanyros's go, it continues to thrash at uh, Orwin on the ground, brings down its bite, and then 
pierces into your stomach, opening up a massive wound for 40 damage. That's with the uh, shield on still. Yeah, run 31. All right, Macro. Oh, yeah. It's your turn. I'm coming all in. He tries his best to uh, help out. Yes, you is. I've only got four ages. And there's only... <laughs> That's exactly what you sound like just now as well, Ian. Oh, was it? Yeah, so I think that was Discord. Oh, man. That was just funny as fuck. I got he's going to recklessly attack twice. 31, 23 for 14. I think maybe going back to the other microphone might help because at least you got one less latency issue with not yeah. having the Bluetooth as well. Uh, yeah, let's try that. Yeah, so the Radiant Kopesh cuts through the armor, leaving a gash in Amit. But the second one, he slides across and cut him across his eye, like where his eyes should be. Sweet. Um, it's definitely got his attention. He's now got that uh, spiritual. Ancestors attacking him, so uh, mm -hmm. everyone he's got disadvantage against everyone else. Yep. Oh shit! You should have disadvantages against me. I always forget that. All right, let me go back. Right, the bite still would have hit, and so would the other bite, and so would have the other claw. So it would have made no difference. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, that's Macro's turn done. All right, and then Macro's turn. He turns. It turns because Macro has just cut it to shreds. And begins to launch a claw at you. Strikes you for a total of 28 slashing. Is it halved? It is, isn't it? And 8 necrotic. You feel like each claw that strikes you leaves like a burning residue. As if poison is seeping in. Uh, okay, so Maisie, your turn. You you do that damage for me, don't you? Yeah, I did, yeah. Oh yeah, it's too much HP off. Sweet. Oh, the fact that it takes 10 HP off automatically is fucking beautiful. <laughs> Alright, Maisie, let's see what you um, got. I think should I took more damage than I way. should have then, no? Because you, I took... How much damage should I have taken? 15, right? 15, yeah. Okay, well you took a lot more than that. I'll put it back. I didn't take any from you. Because I couldn't. It wasn't rolled... It was like automatic. Okay, well, I was on 127 hit points for some reason. I should have been on 144. Fair enough. I didn't click. I didn't actually negate any of the damage, by the way. I actually asked you all to do it yourself. Okay. Because well, I, I couldn't at that point. But sorry, Maisie, it's your turn. That's all right. I was just working out what I wanted to do anyway. Uh, I am actually not going to move there. I'm going to move instead. She was about here. So I'm going to move her here, if possible. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to hit it with... Uh, three Eldritch Blasts. One. Two. Three. Okay. Uh, before that happens, I'm going to quickly do something. That still would have hit. That's missed. I'm actually giving you 27 HP back, Owen. I forgot oh, the synaptic okay. static. Ooh. So Maisie what? gave, yeah. So the synaptic static actually made one of the claws previously miss. Nice. Okay. So you can take twenty-seven back if you want to do that. All right. Yep. So Maisie, you begin firing Eldritch blasts towards it. Oh my god! And they are all good hits. Nice. Oh, so he hit. gets pushed back a fair way as well. Down the cliff. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. Like to hear. Well, would like, it be in the direction of yeah, where so yeah. he did it? Yeah, kind of like, like there. Nice. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Cool. Uh, no, she's going to end the turn there. All right. Oh, your turn. I will quicken a fireball. Mm -hmm. That is a hit. Then go one, two, three, four. Back up here. Mm -hmm. And... That's what they were for. Remember, you can click on your token and then click on the heal button. Yeah, I've done that. Alright, cool. So, is that the end of your turn? Uh, yeah. Right, so it runs back up here. 
charges at Macro. Uh, Macro, can you make a strength saving throw? In fact, let me quickly check his movement. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, can Macra, Maisie, and Alwyn all make strength saving throws? Uh, I'm amazing. gonna use the re I'm gonna use the reaction to uh, give Owen advantage. <laughs> well, all, to be honest, <laughs> what's better for you, advantage or plus five? Plus five. Yeah, uh, you get plus five. Oh, shit. Oh, well, yeah, that might work. No, yeah. No, yeah, you pass. When, um, when the, horse, <laughs> Thank the you. horsey of death moved out of their uh, influence, were they got of attacks of opportunity um, when it was not, pushed off the cliff? No. Uh, forced not movement. Forced movement. No. Okay, so, nice. Macra, I'm going to negate. You take a total of 7 bludgeoning damage. Uh, or when you take 15. And Maisie, you take 30 and are knocked prone. Do they not pass? Shit balls. Yeah, you took 15. You take half damage. Oh, and you're not not gotcha, prone. Gotcha, yeah. Gotcha. yeah, Maisie takes 30. And it gets disadvantage on these and minus a d6. Actually, synaptic static concentration. Oh, that is so nasty. You're a nasty man. What? I don't think it is, you know. Let me have a look. Oh, um, no, it's not. It's just an instant effect. Yeah, fair enough. Thank you. All right, yeah, so it goes for a claw attack against Maisie with a minus D6, but I don't think that's actually going to matter. Looks like it's going to hit you, Maisie. Going to be yeah, a good solid Maisie's hit. Got, um, Maisie's got... He's got disadvantage against Maisie. Does that hurt? Oh, yeah. So then it swipes towards you, Maisie, and misses. It rolled a 19 minus in two from the... So it makes it a 17, it. which is just below your AC. And then it swings out towards Orwin with another claw. Also, in the spirit of fairness, Liam, I didn't take any HP in that last attack. Should I just do it manually? Yeah, you should have taken 30. Yeah. Bludgeoning. I'll put uh, it in manually. Yeah. Looks like he's about to hit you, Orwin, with a claw. He's got a disadvantage against Orwin yeah. as well. I know this, yes. Uh, yeah, I'll shield. Pops your AC too. 23. Still hits. Ugh. Claw thing. rends you. You are bleeding <clears throat> profusely. Yeah, he does take a reduction of damage, but I can't remember what scale right. up the And then it steps forward. <laughs> and reaches out. Rage doesn't call the cross play. Reaches out and bites Macra for a total of 43 piercing damage halved. Right. Then on initiative count 20, it uses Marked for Death. And turns I and really am. turns and <laughs> stares at Elzef. Elzef, can you make a con save? Oh, I see. Elzef I, gets to make the con save. I do have a plus 11. I don't think I'll use it. Oh my god. Uh, immediately. Why did you say that? <laughs> you're immediately paralyzed in fear, and it can move 10, 20 feet towards you. Which it does, which does provoke a tax opportunity if Orwin and Maisie want to. Uh, yes, I think. Yeah. I can't I cast a spell so. though, can I? Because I'm still learning about Warcaster, which I do not have. It misses. Rude. Macro. Oh no, you don't have 10-foot range anymore, do you? I don't think Maisie can take one. She hasn't got anything to hit it with. Mm -hmm. Bite it. <laughs> she goes to bite it. <laughs> no, Bakra doesn't have 10-foot range anymore, so... Oh, fuck! I do have Warcaster. Well, yeah, you can cast the... Okay. Yeah, it actually ha hasn't moved out of your attack uh, range, I don't think, so... So I can get an attack of opportunity, yeah? No, I don't think you can, sorry. I haven't moved oh. out. You just robbed me. That's the first time I was ever going to be able to do that. All right, all um, in. Rocket, um, heal yourself by nine. Thank you. 
Right, the lair action. Um, as it goes off, it turns towards Elzef, and Elzef, a creeping fear comes over you, and you find you can't move your body, and it's able to move 20 foot towards you. Your turn. Can you make a con save at the end of your turn? Fuck! I was trying to get a crit nice. on you, but never mind. Yeah, so you're not paralyzed anymore. That was a really bad choice to pick you directly after me. <laughs> yeah, but you know. So Elzef, um, the paralyzation sh just is sh sh shaken away. Ah, but you uh, miss your turn. I didn't want to turn anyway. At the end of your turn, it reaches out to bite you, but you it just in mo just in in time bring up your shield and block it. Lanieros. Muted. Sorry, yeah. Um, I think uh, it doesn't look to be very smart, so let's try this. No, it failed. Very good, so it has a minus d4 for the next saving throw. And a minus d6. Yeah. <laughs> uh, at the end of your turn, it will try to bite Elzef. Ah, how come I roll like 32 against all win, but whenever I try to attack Elzef, I just roll 20 or 19. Yeah, anyway, it reaches out, you manage to like, just duck and dive out of the way, whatever. Macro, your turn. Macro, shall I try and get Oh, you cannot take an action while the game is currently paused. The game is paused. Oh, whoops. Macro shall go there. You shall manifest an echo. Here's an action. <clears throat> yep, right there. And using the echo, you shall recklessly attack. Wham. And wham. It's 27 and 21. Alright, the 27 hits. The 21 does not. Cool. And it continues to have disadvantage to attack anyone else. Doesn't matter because it turns around and bites you for a total of that damage. <laughs> 40 to 43 half. I think that's my echo you've just bit there because Macro is this. How, how much? Yeah, so how much does the echo, HP does the echo have? One. The echo it's, pops. The echo pops. Maisie, your turn. <clears throat> Okay. I want it away from me again. So, with the... With the risk of sounding like a broken record, Eldritch Blast. Uh, I'm afraid only the last one hits. That's fast enough. Mm -hmm. 20 misses? It does. Okay. Last thing. And then she's going to move here and hope that doesn't hit her. All right. Um, oh yeah, wait. Actually, that was ridiculous. Can I take that back? What, well, moving? Yeah, can I move somewhere else instead? Yeah, yeah, you can. Thank you. I realised I gave it a fucking clear line of charge. And for once in my life, I'm actually really enjoying thinking through battles rather than fucking randomly kicking buttons like <laughs> a spam. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, 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 you're all right, Todd. Well, yeah, I, know. I actually, I'm actually enjoying it. I know. It's, uh, it's all that Apex training we did with Todd Rocket and I. We got him to think tactically. Yeah, barely. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so uh... I've actually been reading my spells as well. Don't anyone fall off their chairs? Get out! Or when you drink another potion, I'm assuming. Yeah, um, and then quick and fireball. Yep, that's that hits. Restores its turn. Um, Elzef, can you make a strength save and throw? Uh, I give myself a plus five. Uh huh. <sighs> All right. So you take a total of fourteen bludgeoning damage. That, um, all this damage has resistance as well. 
Yep. Okay. Alright, well, um, so one of the claws comes towards you as he bursts through you, Elzef, and you manage to just parry it away with your shield, and then next comes another claw that looks like it's going to hit. It looks like it's going to hit. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. Alright, cool, you take a total of 34 damage. 12 damage for one claw. Is it 12? You've got resistance as well, remember. Alright, I'll yeah, apply it. I'll watch if it is necrotic. Huh? Sorry, uh, 18. Oh, so you're half that, yeah? He's already half to all of it anyway, because you've got resistance to all of it. Oh. Why would he have resistance to Necrotic? Because I'm the void. You get resistance to oh. Ancestral Guardians, you get resistance to no. all damage. Okay, yeah, well, there you go. I've done <clears> the damage, <throat> you took fuck all. And then the bite comes in and hits too. It's hitting a lot, I feel. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, okay. Yeah, and you take a total of 36 halved. I've done that. It then turns towards Macro. Macro, can you make a con save as you are mocked for death? I do, I do believe that's exactly what you needed. Yes, you pass. But it, but it does move 20 foot towards you. Elzef, yeah. would you like to have enough attack opportunity? Uh, no, I use my reaction to not die. Oh. Lanieros. Get the fuck. Yes, so... <clears throat> I think, uh... I'll just try this again. Hmm... <laughs> I will try and slow it this time. Yeah, also... Um, and I don't think it made a save yet, right? So it's got... Nope. Minus a lot. <laughs> I've had to give Elzif some HP back, because I calculated something wrong. But I've just given it back no, to you. I was like, I lost a lot of HP in that. Yeah, it... I forgot about the resistance from Curtis. And also, I rolled... Done, uh, I forgot to roll the static for the bite. Uh, which which actually made it miss, so I gave you the HP back. <laughs> okay, slow. I cast slow. Yes. Oh, I'm afraid it passes. Uh, with a minus D4 oh, and a minus oh, oh. D6. Thank you. Well, that's a minus four, dropping it to eighteen. It needs a twenty. I'll use Legendary Resistance. Okay. Fuck. Yep. Shakes it off. And then turns around and bites Macra at the end of your turn. Macra, do you have any resistances? You do, from Raging, right? Yep. Did I not have a turn this time? Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> Why did I... Sorry, Elzef. I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> it is your turn. Uh, I cast Levitate on it. It passes. Shame. Worth a try. It was worth a try. Hmm. Did it take the minus d6 from the start? Yeah, yeah, I mean... Oh yeah, I get it. It's gone. It doesn't even have it proficient. It just got a natural 20. Bit chores. Alright, after Linearos is uh, slow, it's Macro's turn. Macro's bitten. Um, Macro's going to bonus act from second wind. Nine. And then healing. How do I have click apply full damage to slightly token? So if I click that, it'll reduce my heal, give me nine healing. I oh, know. Yeah, if you click your token and click the little plus button. Ah, heal to the token. There oh. we go. That's how I did it. And then he will recklessly swing it twice. 29 of 30 for 16. Oh, and that's a big crit. Alright. 
So Can we use that now? No, I think we'll be in this thing. Yeah, so Macron, you swipe through its legs, and as it stumbles forward, brings the Kopesh and just slam it down on its head. It looks to be dying. It looks to be going on its last legs. Um, ancestral protectors is back up there. Mm-hmm. God, that's a horror. I thought it'd get rid of that horrible font from our fucking this. Never mind. And then he ends his go. And then he will attempt to bite you again. Hitting. Taking the damage. Alright, Maisie, your turn. Alright. So let's get it T-fucked. Um... I will... I'll pop it again. Alright, those last two are good hits. Yep. And I will drop some healing lights on Macra. Alright, cool. A six. Three. Eight. Total of 11 healing to Macra. Uh, thank you. So yeah, you fling out the Eldritch Blast, knocking it down the cliff face, and then bring up your hand to, and you feel that power channeled through your hand. And as you point towards Macra, there's just these three bursts of radiance that heals some of his wounds. Radiant. Alright. All in. Todd, I've been wondering. Hmm. Since you've been run over by the horse twice, um, do you remember that you're wearing the flying shoes? I don't know if I am. I don't think I ever put them on my character sheet. <laughs> you did. They're there. Are they? Yeah, they're cool. they're winged okay. boots. You. <laughs> right. I was just I going did. through my infusions, and I was like, "Why is Ho Why is Todd getting run over by the?" Uh, I'm trying so hard to remember things right. now as well. Oh, when the Thanks first. For Firebolt misses, but then the second hits it clean in the forehead. It's throwing its head side to side, crashing as the fire is beginning to catch. Good. Its turn. It's dropped below 10% health. A mythic action goes off. Oh no. And to your northeast, you hear another keening screech as its partner comes out of the water to help it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Jesus <laughs> Tell it to get fucked. Which one? You have to specify now. It's two of them. Alright, it's turn. They can fuck each other. Runs up the cliff face straight towards Macro. Uses this entire turn to just two claws and a bite. Uh, it's a minus d6 to all of these, right? For fuck's sake. Yeah, well, fuck Synaptic Static, right? So, Synaptic Static make, causes the first one to miss. The second one hits you for a total, I'll do the half damages. And then it causes the bite to miss as well. Right, Elzef, nice it's your turn. I fireballed the shitty horse. It's not she horse. I mean, that's your It is a pretty shitty horse. And as the fireball strikes it in the side, it rolls down the cliff face and stops moving. That's a stealing the kill. Oh, this is the first damage Elsa has done to this shitty horse. <laughs> <laughs> well, time to fight shitty horse number two. I end my turn. Yep. I figured out what they remind me of. They kind of look like the Skags from Borderlands. I thought you said skanks. <laughs> I thought you were going to say stoke as well, which would have made that amazing. It reminds me of the primordial serpents from Dark Souls. Oh, I don't think it looks anything like that. Lanyros, it is your turn. Yes, so um, let's just start it off with a nice little welcome. With a little mindslayer. Nice. Fails by one. Nice. And then I'll duck behind the trees here. Mm -hmm. 
That's right. Yep. Macro? Macro shall uh, mosey his way over there. So, eight, two, one. Six, seven, eight, and then how far away can he manifest as it? Can do it 15 foot away from him, so he shall do that 15 foot toward reach out. Where are you putting it? They're just, yeah, that'll do. And then he will ready an action to. Oh, I'm going to lose me fucking rage on top of an attack. That's an issue. Just throw a rock while you're running. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. He, he picks, yeah, he picks up a rock uh, from the ground. Oh, no, he's got he's got javelins on his back. He'll uh, he'll unsheath a javelin in there. Oh, I've not got him on my character sheet though. That's an issue. Yeah, he throws a javelin. Whatever that'd be. I'll just use my copas for to hit or not, and then All right. myself from there. So yeah, he's missing, doesn't matter. Yeah, plus ten. He's yeah, up. it just ricochets off of his armor. This one's got a distinct, more kind of. Feline kind of slimness to it. This this creature. Yeah. Um, then he ends his go. All right, its turn. It's going to dash. However, it can dash up to eight feet. Anyone within the path may make a strength saving throw. As it runs there. Mm. Yeah, I give myself a plus five again. All right. Tell me if I pass or succeed. Uh, so the first, which which row is the one you want? Uh, the 18 was for the echo. Right, the echo takes 30 bludgeoning damage. Yeah, the echo pops. Yeah. Then macro passes, taking 15. And you got plus 5, so you pass as well, taking 15 bludgeoning. Do I still take a half, uh, Curtis? Yes. Oh, no, I haven't sat this one yet. Oh, shame. Do I put you the 15 in, or, you or do you it. put the 15 I in? Need, um, I need deal damage to it, I think, for it to work. Huh. Uh, yeah, no, El El Elzef, you have to put it in yourself. The trample, I don't... It rolls it in, like, the description rather than actually rolling it properly, but... All right, that's the I end. Just, I just want to work with professionals one time. <laughs> <laughs> right, that is the end Hello. of its turn. Maisie. All right, the first thing she does is look at her feet. Oh, how the fuck did they get there? And flies up above this tree. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Then <laughs> pops it with a synaptic. Oh shit! Sorry. It's not a horse. Jesus. A shitty and... fucking horse. That's why it's a shitty horse because it's not a horse. So it's a really bad version of a horse. Yeah. Sorry. This one. You said this one was more slimline, didn't you? It's a yeah. slatty horse. <laughs> My little boss five. Fuck. My little boss five. Fuck your synaptic static. I've used I've used the legendary resistance. Fuck it. I'm not. No. Fuck your D6. legendary resistance. Yeah, I'm not having minus d6 again. It ruined that. I just missed everyone. What the second toss also gets my, uh, legendary resistance. Well, what if I ruined the surprise and told you they had a shared pull? Oh, okay. Well, you're front of surprise. Why would yeah, you well, now, he, because you complained at me. <laughs> <laughs> you don't trust me enough to actually, <laughs> to actually I, let me do it. I didn't complain because I don't trust you. I complained to complain. There was no reason behind it. Did we get a level up for killing the first horse? No, you fucking don't. You don't get a level up. Not you. <laughs> Sorry, Maisie. Is that the end of your turn? It's the end of my goddamn turn. Alright, so it uses a legendary action to swipe at Elzef. <laughs> Missing. For fuck's sake. Oh, well, oh it's your turn. Wanted to pay me back, yeah? Well, fuck you, I'm trying to me. I know. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I'll do I'll do we'll do that as well. What's your DC? 18. I failed by one. It. Enjoy. He is paralyzed. What do you think? This is better than synaptic static? I don't think it is. Should have used that legendary mm -hmm. resistance for this. Uh, I was just gonna move down this cliff. 
so it can't physically charge me. Okay, Elzef. Haven't we, haven't we basically won this now? Oh no, I can repeat the saving throw. Um, yeah, it's paralyzed, so I get uh, advantage on attacks within 5 feet, right? Yep, and the attacks within 5 feet. Uh, you get advantage always. If it's within 5 feet, you crit if you hit. You oh, hit. Like I'm gonna roll 4 more d8s. And that means I get uh, I can fire arm twice. I have my turn. Yeah, you run up, shock it. Um, it doesn't move, but you can see like pustules pop all over its flesh. The nearest. Oh. Mm. Mm-hmm. You might as well, right? Like. We're gonna get up close and personal. Everyone's now is paralyzed, is running up to give it a good kick in. Jesus, what horse. No, that's, that's a miss, I'm afraid. I'll take two steps back. Not a miss, it's more like it just the armor absorbs it. Mm. That's a horrible roll on both accounts. Yep. Yeah. Macra? Macra? Shall run up to the creature. We shall manifest an echo once again. Mm -hmm. And then he shall recklessly attack twice. Well, he doesn't need reckless because he's paralyzed, so he just attacks it. Normally. And they're both crits. And they're both crits. What a shame. Is there a way I can just automatically roll a crit on this one? No, that'd be too. So how much damage do I need? Extra damage. Oh, it doesn't give you the damage breakdown straight away. I do just not roll. Just roll four d eight. Four extra d eight. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, cool. Let me guess. These horses are into threesomes, and the next one comes out of the sea. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're beginning to see, see about maybe a dozen swells. It's got, it's got oh. a litter. Oh, I'm joking, I'm joking! <laughs> <laughs> just, all I'm gonna do is just make the token like one size smaller and have another ten of them come. Oh, that's really bad because if they come from the sea, how can we drown its babies? Ah, oh. uh, big issue. It's been a while. That's Grildar, not Laneros. <laughs> oh, I get anyway. All right, it's no longer paralyzed at the end of its turn. Lies, lies and deceit. How is it lies and deceit? I rolled a twenty-five. <laughs> In a minute, you're going to tell me it's voice acted by a fucking girl. Adrian had never seen such bullshit before. <laughs> That's the best one yet. Will you stop? Bloodhound <laughs> is voiced by a woman. Will you stop it? <laughs> uh, Maisie, it's your turn. <laughs> okay, I will cast. Um, Synaptic static. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I might just. How do I turn that off? <laughs> it just focused me on you. As you what, said that. Synaptic static. Did, but it was totally worth it. No, he <laughs> said first he cheats on Apex and now this, and he like focused me. There you go. Fucking... Goodoosh. Did you pass? Oh, for God's sake. Uh, what is it? An intelligent saving throw? I doubt it with a plus one. No, I didn't pass. Oh no. Oh yep. no. <laughs> Why is it you versus me now? What's going I on? I don't know, so I'm sorry, I actually I've, He's like, oh I do love you. Liam rolled a twenty five with magic resistance. Oh, he must be cheating. <laughs> <laughs> uh end my turn, sorry. Alright, yeah. Uh, at the end of your turn, it will attack Macra. Minus one D six. Ah, uh, yeah, he only rolled a one. <laughs> All right, so it bites macro. He bites macro's echo, I think. Ah, oh, fuck your echo. <laughs> yeah, it pops the echo. I keep forgetting about that. <laughs> you can do that all night, mate. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all in. It's your turn. But is it like I, I am role playing it as it is, like a bit of a dumb beast. Fair dues. Fair dues. 
Uh, yeah, let's get the firebolt it. Yeah, that's a fucking good hit as well. And the damage rolls eight, nine, eight, seven. Holy shit! Mm, that's pretty tasty. Yeah. All right. Is that the end of your turn? Mm -hmm. It moves towards Macra. He really doesn't want to give us that bonus, does he? <laughs> Annoyingly, he can only use the legendary action to move, not move and attack. So, Elzef, your turn. I steal a kill. Okay. Oof. That misses. What, the 20 misses? Uh huh. Your horse is bullshit. I am my. Not a horse! <laughs> Get off your high nulla horse, Liam. I think the problem is, Liam gave Bethesda money for horse armor. <laughs> and it reaches out and goes to bite Elzef. Fuck you. Uh, minus a d6. It looks like it's going to hit. Would you like to do anything? Uh, yeah, I get hit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there you go. I've it's done the half damage. Choice. I know mm -hmm. you're resistant because of Macra, so I've given you half what? damage. Was that a crit? No, it did 49 halved. 49, I wasn't a crit, yeah? That wasn't a crit, no. Your horse is bullshit. It's a bullshit horse. <laughs> it's a bullshit horse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell. You guys. Alright. So, Elzef, is, is this your turn? No, it's not your turn. Yeah, I feel like I just chucking grass yeah. No, yeah, it's Lineros. Yeah, the fireball yep. is a solid hit there. Yeah, I'll apply one more of my power surge. Uh, yeah, one more power surge, so I'll deal another eight force damage to it. Alrighty. Minus eight. Cool. This one looks bloodied. And I will. Bye bye. <laughs> Macro. No, oh, but you were just saying it was my girlfriend. You were saying something was going to happen to me. Oh, no, no, um, it's your turn, sorry. Macro's getting scared because he's about to go down, but he wants to earn these extra crystals. Does he go for broke or does he run away? Uh, he goes for broke. He'll uh, recklessly swing at it twice for Radiant Kopash. That's a miss. And another miss. Oh, Jesus Christ. He oh, will. Fucked it. Axe and Surge. Oh, shit. Recklessly swing at it. That's a hit! 21 and a hit! 30. Yep. Does Cut. the first one kill? Oh no, I'm not, I can't use a smart. Just for Cut across its so chest, down. down the side, and it's still going. Ah, shit, I'm dead. Bollocks. My car ends his go. Yep, two claws are going out towards Elzef. Minus d6. And then the bite's going towards you know who. Voldemort. <laughs> so the first, the claw, the first claw looks like it's going to hit Elzef, but the second clangs off your armor. Did you want to do anything against the first? Yeah, it does do a lot of damage, doesn't it? I cast shield. It still hits. Oh, it's, it's higher than thirty. Yeah, well, it rolled a thirty-four minus two, so thirty-two. With disadvantage. Oh, thirty-one minus two, twenty-nine. <laughs> it does not hit. Fuck, I'll give, you, I'll give you a HP back. Sorry. Um, he's got resistance to the damage as well. I, I know, I know. He didn't take any, did he? No, he plus 13 and then plus 5. There you go. Gave it back, alright? It missed. With his claws, turns around and goes to bite Macra. Does he hit? Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't just hit. That sounds like it really. It's a crit. He hit you for a crit. And it did very poor damage, but still a lot. So it did a total of <laughs> 67. Sorry. Oh, for fuck's sake, it still downs me. God damn it. I have an item that can prevent crits, but I use my reaction for shield. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> um... Marco, do something. I'm thinking. <laughs> Could have had Todd, do something. I'm thinking. I, I, oh no, I can't. I've used all my shit. Have you got? You have some spells. Have you got anything decent? If I Me. gave you the ability to cast a spell, no, uh, Curtis. Nothing like that. No. 
Oh, I did have false life that I could have cast before this, but I didn't do that. But, uh, so you have false life? Will no, I didn't cast it before. Potential? No, but do you have it? Yeah, I have it as a spell. Is it enough that it would keep you up? Uh, one, I'll, get, four, four, I'll give you a HP back. Four. It was like 27, so... And I was going to yeah, do 33 Jeez. damage. Barely oh, yeah. Oh, no. It depends how high I rolled on false life. So there's potential. Oh, no. It, I meant 27, 31. How much damage did you say it did? 33. Yeah, 33. That was halfed as well. As long as I roll over a... a uh, over as long as I roll over a two or higher on a d4, I, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. But come on, is it? Go fuck it, we'll go for it. Then. <laughs> Are you using your fucking ability, your yeah, sorcery ability? I mean, we could guarantee it uh, if you give it to me and I cast Resilient Sphere on him. No, because I think the. Um... The trigger has to be that he's taken the damage, oh, so okay. he would have to be the one to cast the spell, so... Yeah, that's gonna cost me a shit ton of sorcery points, so you do your roll while I figure out how many sorcery points that's just cost me. So you're doing it then, yeah? Yeah, fuck it, we'll give it Don't a fuck this up, percent chance. Oh, did, does, does false life give you more hit points if I cast it at a higher level? Yes, it does. Oh, yeah, yeah I can just do... I could just do it as a higher level. Then. Yeah, just oh, fucking cheat, that, Curtis. Man. Just fucking cheat like Liam does. Fuck <laughs> 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 it! You know what? Level. I also want to remind you guys that you have inspiration. Like, that's a thing. We still <laughs> have we five more we fights to get through on these resources, Liam. Don't fucking would make us spend this Would it inspiration have helped me at this point? I don't all. know. I don't know. You could have used it to get temporary hit points. Yes! He lives! <laughs> Alright. So he takes 33, but gets. So he takes 33, but has 33, so he's still zero. No, no. Did, did that add the plus five? I can't. I don't like how it doesn't give me the breakdown. It adds plus if four. If you click it, it shows you. No, yeah, I didn't. didn't. Sorry, it didn't add plus five because it got second level. level. Alright, so you actually ah, have five hit points amazing. left. Yeah. Got it. Done. Ah, we're getting that bonus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, that's fair enough. And I guess that was it. I guess that was its turn. Um Maisie it's because your... that was bloody expensive. <laughs> Maisie, it's your turn. Alright. I am going to fucking send it back to its threesome den. Awesome. Gonna stand over here. Gonna pop it with Surprise, surprise. Three Eldritch Blasts. Let's see what you got. One. That's a, that's a hit. Two. A hit. Good. Three. That's good. Yep. 36. Yeah, nice solid hits. Knocking it. Fucking miles. <laughs> there you go. Full damage? Uh, it's too big to take full damage from that cliff face. Even, even you would, at 15 foot, probably wouldn't. Oh. Yeah. It's hard to tell with the scale. It could be it is, 100 yeah. foot. <laughs> yeah. But no, it's not that at all. Alright, so a, is that your turn, Maisie? No bonus actions? Mm, is anyone looking particularly mince? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we, we, you, <laughs> where were you? <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to drop Matt Cross some more healing. Okay. I'll drop him a. Yes, yeah, more healing light. There you go, mate. Thank you very much. Slightly less dead. Alright. That's nice. That's a good. That's 13 hit points, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright. At the end of Maisie's turn, it will move straight up the cliff to Macra. Cast power word kill. Suck a dick and be off. Oh, when it's your turn. <laughs> Quick, uh... kill it! Does it look particularly bad? Oh, or? it looks hurt, yeah. I mean, it looked bad from the get-go. <laughs> <laughs> this is not an attractive form, by any means. Um, 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 um. I 
Also, just, just pointing out. Uh... To fire, weren't they? I love how like I know Maisie's got like a like a wand of disintegration. I know you're saving it, but <laughs> I am saving it. You're oh, quite okay. right. Yeah. Can we discuss that Lanaris hasn't taken any damage? That smug. Bastard. I can't get him. He's sneaky. <laughs> It's, it's, little it's snake. not true. I've taken my temp HP as damage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's a solid hit. The fireball hits it in the neck, begins to set it on fire. It's it's not dead yet. Alright, then I'll quicken, I guess. You you rolled a 19. I rolled 19. That's how much HP it's got. How do you want to do it? <laughs> I, I, I don't give a fuck. I, I <laughs> just does a little fist pump. It's like, gosh. Yeah, and it just kind of like falls down the cliff face, and there's a, you know, both corpses are on fire now because they both got killed by fire bolts. So there's just two little bonfires, and then there's a the sound and the whoosh of a nearby portal opening, and beyond you see an elf, a female elf with her hair plaited, almost in the style of Nordrak. And she wears pauldrons and a, has a shield on her back. She nods. Her bright blue eyes regard you for the portal. And she says, come back, rest. Oh, yes, and that, I would like to rest. you all get six arcane shards for that battle. And that is hey. where we're going to take a break.
All right, fuck it, we're back. And as you guys have finished your short rest, the kind of Nordrakian avatar who stands in front of you, almost a shield maiden, waits patiently and says, would you like to peruse what the gods have on offer? Has it changed since our last visit? He looks to the side, looks to the other side. Probably not. Then probably not. Would you care for a boon? Or perhaps a curse? Boon's always right, right, thanks. No? You sure I can't interest you? May I oh, be sure. that guy, that pain in the butt, and just ask what the boons and the curses are again, or are they on the same thing? No. You ask for one, and it is random. A there, are, there are 13 boons and 13 curses. Do they cost me anything? One arcane shard. All right, I'll take a boon. Holy shit! Tom's doing it! Let's put the tense music on. Uh, it's not take a boon, just so you know, Todd. It's yeah. take a random chance of a boon or a curse. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah, fuck it, let's go. All right, cool. Roll a 1d26. So you're paying, you can still get fucked, that's nice. Yeah, so drop your shards down to nine. Yeah, I've done it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hence why I fuck that. <laughs> Eleven's a good number. Well, as she reaches forward and touches you, she says, the gods of health have blessed you. Can you roll 60-10? Yep, yeah, and I can. Your hit point maximum has increased by 23 for the entire bout. Fuck yeah. Not the entire bat, the entire tawny, says here. Fuck so. yeah. Um, can you remind me at the end to take my um, hit points down then? You should be able to write, I'll, I'll write in for you. There is a okay. temp, there is a temp feature. Plus max. Oh yeah, yeah, plus max, I see right. that. Mm -hmm. I'll do that now. Cool. To get the hit points as well to go along with it. He does get the hit points to go along with it. Sick. Do I go up to maximum then? Yeah, no, you don't go up to maximum. You got, you get plus twenty three hit points plus and plus twenty three max. Well done. Yeah, you. I, what? <laughs> you're right next to your maximum hit points gets reduced by sixty ten. So you know. That'll take. I'll take that boom. Uh huh. You guys might want to think about doing that. No. Uh, no. I, I mean, had quite a lot to think about it, and uh, I, it's an awful. <laughs> exactly. I did think about it. Decided against it. What we should consider is eventually using the wish in the luck blade uh, to get along to get everyone a long rest. I think that would forfeit us from the competition. Mm-hmm. It would. What the effect from the? Yeah, that's actually... If you wish specifically for a long rest, then yes. No, no. The luck blade wish can as a spell. I think put you back to full hit points. Yeah, but unless we we uh, wish for the removal. Literally, specifically states you cannot take a long rest. Yeah, you but... wish for a long rest. You could wish for all of your HP back. You could wish for something else, like wish for like some people's spell the effects back. of a long. Yeah, rest. if you got a, if, yeah, that's he's right. If you could we genuinely re-wish that rule and just remove no, it. No, no, I mean the specific, <laughs> the specific effect that is without random chance that the wish allows you to uh, grab yeah, every character I... full hit points. Yeah, not any specific other things. Yeah, I mean the full hit points is fine. The rules of this court tournament state that you can't take a long rest. No, I know that. I yes. didn't suggest that. Okay, yeah. Now that's fine. She turns and she opens a portal. And beyond you, you see blue sky. Any ground? You see what looks like a small island. Yeah, floating. Okay. Go through. All right, cool. I mean, such a troll just opens a portal and it's like a mile in the air. Yeah, so, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's the arena. Alright, so you guys appear on one small island. Behind you, uh, a statue guards what looks like a small rotating portal. But the moment you all enter, it fizzes away. And ahead of you is a broken bridge. And chunks of floating masonry connecting islands to islands. I don't like this. Keep tight. Check your corners. Well, uh, before anything kicks off, and I'll just like motion everyone to come across here and jump across. 
What's this blue thing going on here? Uh, that's what behind you. No. Well, I'm suddenly getting lag again for some reason. Oh, Is that I'm floating I'm... energy. Yeah, it, it it's it's nothing. It's just the map. Um, there's just meant okay. to be floating masonry there. Oh. Didn't get lagged oh. the entire session, but suddenly getting it now. Hmm. Fly up. I'll just keep flying if I can. Mm hmm. All right. Can you make a perception check, then, Maisie? Yeah. Or that I can. If you're flying up and up and up. Yep. Mm -hmm. Alright. I don't know why you didn't roll it properly, but... It's only because I'm using for the, the quick bar for... Oh, okay, yeah. Alright, so, to the northwest, uh, across the broken bridge, uh, you see what looks like a bonfire? Like a very large bonfire on part of the cliff face. It's <sighs> roaring. Northwest looks like we've got a camp or bonfire or something like that. Might want to take tactical positions. Hmm. All right. Could get the drop on them. That is, if someone's surrounding it. Does she see anyone around around the bonfire, or what, does it yeah, illuminate you know, anything? It illuminates like the kind of cliff edges around. That's all. Why is this personality the cod announcer? <laughs> yeah, it's Captain McTavish. <laughs> so far away. I'm trying to do stuff in Foundry, but it's not letting me. Like what? Like move. Heads up, AC one thirty above. What is with you? I captured an alpha. Which yeah, as you here, I'm presuming. Yeah, it yeah, she where fly. She goes, so as you guys cross this bridge, it kind of rocks to and fro. The, the foundations blow your feet here on. Solid, like you kind of like these feel like the building dip ever so slightly with your weight. Okay, Amazing check underneath. Fire is. Damn. Sorry, what? Fire. Uh, to the north. Um, kind of like this direction. Um, it's above what looks like an altar. Um, I, for whatever reason, Maisie's just going to check down underneath to see if there's anything waiting to spring in ambush. Right, yeah, so you fly underneath all the islands, and you don't really see anything. Cool. Other than there's more islands below you, and sea further down. It's, the sea is about maybe 300 foot down, Maisie, and then there's some more floating islands, maybe about 100 feet above the sea, but 200 foot below. Uh, yeah, Owen. I see anything from this position up here. Yeah, as you're climbing up there, you realise there's a small cave below you as well. Like, mm -hmm. you do see the cavern entrance. Do I see or mm. hear anything in there? No, as you peer down, it's illuminated by the sunshine around you. And inside, there's evidence of some sort of nest. Some sort of, like, hideout. There's scorch marks all up the walls. But nothing in there. No. I see anything from the vantage point? Uh, yeah, so from the vantage point, you can see the bonfire from here. It just looks like a bonfire? Mm-hmm. Okay. I Actually, you can make a perception check. Mm, yeah, it just looks like a big, roaring bonfire. Oh, I'm assuming the group's moving slowly forward. Yeah, I just had to restart Foundry. It was lagging for me. Um, sorry, yes, now that I'm finally up here as well, uh, do uh, my uh, my Fey eyes see anything else? Do your Fey eyes see anything else? Uh, you can roll mm -hmm. a perception check, but... Like, you do see the fire, the bonfire. <clears throat> yeah, but there's nothing special about it. Well, now with a now with a twenty five, <laughs> you see it's in a sort of sh familiar shape uh, that you've uh, seen before. And um, as you're um, basically peering at it with a 
With 25, you see eyes peering back at you. Small yellow eyes amongst the bonfire. When it notices you looking at it and you looking at the other, like exchanging glances, everyone sees the bonfire shift into a faint bird shape. And I have initiative from everyone. You can't because for the second time in two minutes, my foundry's crashed. Same. I posted the error in the chat. There's no active combat encounter. Give me a second. Mine's fine. Yeah, it's fine once I reload, but it just crashed twice in like two minutes, so... Mm, alas. The real question is, what the fuck is wrong with the suspension? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got really excited when I saw a K in the roll and it just made me think of fucking L5R. Rocket just sometimes thinks about other games we could be playing. <laughs> All the time. Longingly <laughs> stares into the distance. It's alright, after this campaign between the net to the next one, we'll play those little one shots just to satisfy you. Love one. I should just see what you've done. <laughs> what do you mean? I just tracked it back to an earlier conversation that we all had. What? The, the mm -hmm. Phoenix? Uh, yeah, the mythical yeah. creatures thing. Yeah. This is my one. This is my one. Alright, okay. Um, door open. Let's really get. Really shitty one because. My cantrip's pretty much fire. As it stands up onto what looks like flaming talons, it takes to the skies with a whoosh, and a wave of heat hits you from even from where you guys are. Um, it fl its flight speed is ridiculous. It begins to soar over here, um, lands poof, on the ground right next to Alwyn, peers towards you. Let's out a screech. Oh, fucking that. And attacks you with his beak. Uh, looks like it. It missed. And you just dodge to the oh, side yeah. as flame roars past you, and you kind of scramble back away from it. And then it flies up into the air and uses flyby attack to uh, move out of your reach. Soars over to here. And will swoop towards Lanieros. Looks like it's going to hit you, Lanieros. You're muted. Okay, mm -hmm. shield. Uh, that puts your AC to 25. Which 26. 26. Okay, just as the uh, fiery talons come down, you shield and the, just a wave of flame rise up you and you follow the shield over, following the fire and then just kind of like redirect it away. But you feel like it's like that when you've just opened up an oven that's been on full, full go for an hour. It just roars around you, scorches the ground. And it swoops into the air 30 feet here. Is it still flybying? Yeah. It, it did the attack, swoop past all in, blame on, uh, talons on you, then swooped up. Okay. All right, so that's the end of its turn. Maisie. Pops a crown of souls. It's just taking me a while to... Apparently I'm sp slowing down now. After the comment I made to uh, Lanieros. And we'll use our bonus action to lob that one at it. And that's a hit. It's a good hit as well. No, not jinx it, but our cameras have stayed very good this session. <laughs> mm. Oh, wait. Um, so just so you know, um, Orwin and Lanieros would have taken 12 fire damage as it passed by you. Rude. Mm -hmm. Rude. If you want to in for me. Thank uh -huh. you. Gonna end their turn there. Alright. At the end of your turn, it does a swooping flyby attack, or a swoop towards Macra. It's Talons. Hits you, Macra. For 26 fire damage. That's the end of its legendary action. Elzeth. Uh, is it currently in the air or on the ground? Oh no, wait. Macro, you also take 12 fire damage. Extra. You want to add that in for me? It's currently about 10 feet above you. 10 feet. You're just out of its heat range as well. You can feel it from where you are. 
Yeah, I was thinking about casting a web on it, but like the web's just gonna catch on fire. Um Yeah, I, I use my action to create a death machine with a first level spell slot. Okay. Put Let one me... down for me. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna place it here between all of us so we all get the plus two AC. And then I'm gonna shoot a burb. A shoot a burb. Die chicken. Ah, it's a good hit. Yeah. As he strikes it in the chest, you realise this thing is not wholly made out of thing, like material. It's made out of fire. Uh, what you see is just different, different heat signatures creating kind of like that outline and the contours of its body. Okay, anything else? Am I supposed to interpret that my force damage was halved, or just that it's made of fire? Just it's made of fire. You, it was okay. fine. Yeah. Yeah, I'm done. Alright, it will... fly past Elzef, Macra, Lineros, and Orlin. You all take 12 fire damage as it soars above you. Now it's Macross turn. Is all of this still with fruit, no opportunity attacks? Mm hmm. Yep. Bunch of bullshit. <laughs> God, this is gonna suck. This is proper cheating. Um, the Phoenix oh. doesn't provoke opportunity attacks when it flies out of the enemy's reach. Believe it or not, that's actually the ability the Phoenix gets, not just my monster. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I'm not calling out you, I'm just calling out this monster we <laughs> What the fuck's macro do here? There's literally shaggle. Why is there two macros? Yeah, there's always two macros. For when I beat. Oh, get rid of the edge, get rid of the low one. I don't know why I rolled it twice. I only crashed it once. Um, there's fuck all macro I can do here. Uh, I'm a javelin. I'm gonna mirror image because he literally doesn't have a fucking clue what he's gonna do. All right, cool. You mirror image. I need to remember that rule. And that's the end of his go. All right, on initiative count twenty, it turns, begins spinning violently, forming some sort of firestorm. Can Maisie and Ulwin both roll strength? Wait, let me check before we move on. No, I'm looking at the Pegasus character sheet. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> For some reason, I'm looking at a different character sheet. It doesn't have a uh, layer action. So, Mac, uh, after Macra, it will swoop towards Maisie and go for a Talon. No. It hits you for 35 fire damage, striking I you as it flies off that way. Hit it with. This uh, it it as doesn't. Well. It, it, okay. What are you using? Oh, for some reason, it says I have no pack magic spell slots, even you, though I took a short rest. Did you click the short rest button? Yeah, hang on, let me just redo it. Oh, no, I probably just click cancel. Uh, I will hit it with this. It's not... With what? Why, how are you getting hit? Ah! So you're using fire damage. Ah, oh, fuck. I thought we changed it to uh, Radiant Damage because it was It celestial. is Radiant. Yeah, sorry. So, yeah, we d you didn't change the text. It is meant to be Radiant Damage. It passes the saving throw but takes half damage. Titties. Yep. It is Radiant. Uh, but, any no, that's it. So, Linearus, it's your turn. <clears throat> yeah, I will. One, two, three, four, six. Get over here. Yeah, so you climb, clamber down and run across. Mm-hmm. And send some frostbite its way. It fails to save him for Good. It doesn't seem like your frost is doing more to it. It seems like it's just damaging it. Yep, not that's like fine. putting the fire out or anything. Yep. So, uh, Owen, your turn. I didn't get my turn. Wait, what? Yeah, you did. You were right near the start. Oh, sorry. I didn't. I thought the Phoenix went a second ago. That's why it tipped me with a talon. 
Ah, <laughs> the reaction. Ah, uh, okay, that makes sense. Sorry. <laughs> You're it's okay. in the air, right? Uh, currently, 20 feet. I should yeah, be keeping okay. it. Yeah. Um, well, I have very little cantrip wires other than fire, so I'm going to use the mana salt. <laughs> so yeah. I can use some magic missiles. Nice. Yeah. Immediately, as you go to use the mana salt, you feel that presence, but unlike before, you've used it several times before now. That voice that you heard in your head, you kind of hear, hear like a slight ringing or a singing before it's then drowned out by the power whooshing through you. Alright. I hit it with that, and then I'm gonna run in the cave. Hmm. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you run for cover in the cave. <laughs> nice. Right, as you run into the cover for cave, it lands in front of the cave. Blast furnace. <laughs> no, like, yeah, I was trying to scare him with that, but no, it doesn't. It swooshes past Macra. Macra, you take 12 fire damage, and so does Lineros as it lands next to you. Ah. Uh -huh. And then it just goes down with its beak to try to attack you, Lineros. Looks like it's going to hurt. I mean, could it try not to hurt? That would be better. You could try anything. All right, so it goes down upon the shield. Immediately you feel the heat, and then it breaks through the shield and just comes down upon you, and you're surrounded by burning heat. Scorching. Uh, and then it takes off above. And, like, kind of, like, ten feet above you as its talon comes down to try to strike you. And the talon, I do believe, misses. Because, yeah, yeah, misses by one. That's the end of its turn, and it stays about ten feet above you. Did you remember to give it disadvantage on the first attack? It was only one less. I'm going to still hit. Oh, is it because of the frostbite? The cot? Yeah. Yeah, it, ro it would have rolled... 33. Fine, have it your way. <laughs> Maisie, it's your turn. Can I move here? Uh-huh. Uh, oh, shit! The... I forgot to tell you something. What? You had a quest before we went in, and I forgot to tell you it. Oh. It was... Def it defeat it. it the, the quest was to defeat the next monster before it can be reborn. Oh, that's a pain in the dick. Uh, Isn't that... Needs like a. I mean, you need to wish it to not be reborn. Anyway, Maisie, your turn. <laughs> That's bullshit. Gonna hit it with a lightning bolt. Not for two pieces of shit. Mm-hmm. Mm, cast that shit. Just have to spread its ashes to the wind so there's not enough for it to. Oh, it's asking me to draw the line, sorry. No, I don't, yeah, just. So, I, so as you cast poof, lightning bolt, you hit it. Um, it seems to try to dodge out of the way successfully, although it's still hit. Okay, I am going to also lob one of the crown of souls at it. Oh yeah, as a bonus action. Uh, it won't let me um, do it because it says I have no. There's a repeat button spell. somewhere. Uh, is it on the original spell that I cast? Yes, it is. Is it? I don't know. He says, hmm, I can't seem to see it. There's no repeat button when I press it. Yeah. yeah. Just cast ah. it, and then when yeah, it comes not up, say, don't consume spell slot. Yeah, I see what yeah. you mean. Yeah. All right, that's a miss, I'm afraid. Sad times. Uh, All right, so you have five you more. Turn, you have five more shots left on that? Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, at the end of your turn, it will swoop by Macra and Lanero, so you both take 12 fire damage. Wait, what's that? And then it will fly 35 foot in the air. This monster so much bullshit. <laughs> Elzef, it's your turn. Uh, I cast fly on Macra. <laughs> Bro love. And then I shoot it with a gun. Thank a fuck off of that. Yep, that's a good hit. Striking it clean in the wing, leaving a flaming hole which is quickly filled. 
That's my turn done. Alright, at the end of your turn, it lands, and... No, actually, it'll fly amazing. Fly amazing, goes to Tal on her, hitting you for 28 fire damage. Ouch. And then soars off towards uh, here, uh, landing 50 feet above the ground there. Macro. Landing 50 feet above the, the ground. It's, uh, cause it Do was, you know what landing means? Well, the way I <laughs> see it in my head is because that thing's 15, like 20 foot off the ground, it's actually hasn't landed, sorry, but it's flown over the ca cave, which makes it 15 foot above the cave, not... Oh, never mind. Okay. Sure. It's, yeah. it's 45 yeah. foot above you, but 15 foot above the cave's... Eagle? Yeah. Rally him. I um, mean, I, I, I've seen helicopters land in the air plenty of times. I'm sure you have. I mean... How how much movement do I get with fly? Oh, he says six, that, six foot 60. Going. So, Macro zooms up to it. You got to turn its grill. I wouldn't get into its grill. That seems like a very hot place you wouldn't want to be in. That's where you've where it's going to be. It's going to rage. Mm hmm. You rage? He's going to recklessly twat it twice. Nice. Oh, Wait two. Oh, oh, oh smite it, bitch. Smite it. Smite! Yeah, and BAM! The first thing you feel is scorching pain. And then the second you smite, poof, you take a total of 24 fire damage as well. Shite. I take 24. Mm hmm. But it's half because you're raging. Oh no, wait, you have shitty rage, yeah, right? <laughs> now I've got ancestral protectors on it as well. Yep. Cool. It swoops by Macra and Elzif, land, landing behind Elzif. Uh, well, I'm going to correct myself. It's not landing. It's staying 10 foot above the ground. Macra and Elzif both take 12 fire damage. And a Talon with disadvantage comes down towards Elzif, missing. <laughs> Scorching your armor, but otherwise doing nothing. 12 fire damage just for being close to it. That sucks. Yep. Lanyros? Yeah, this thing's kind of nasty, isn't it? No fun at all. Um, well, I've got one more to do. Pop slow at it. It passes the save, I'm afraid. Ah, oh, well, that's not fun, is it? Haptic static. <laughs> Move over here. Okay. Owen, it's your turn. Pop out. Pop back in. Fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, so you just see this glowing white kind of semi-ethereal Orwin just lighting up the cave appear. Pew! And then just go back in. <laughs> you look so badass, but you just hang around the corner, fire some magic missiles, and then come back in. <laughs> Seems reasonable to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, it's turn. It's going to launch full multi-attack at Elzef. What? It has disadvantage. I know. Alright, so the first beak looks like it's going to strike you if you want to do anything. Mm. Is it a critical? Well, you don't know. I'll only do something if it's a critical. Sounds so hipster. I only cast shield when it's a critical. No, I cast. I'll use the effect that prevents critical if it's a critical. I'm not no, gonna, okay, like, so I'll give you that. It doesn't look like it's going to be a critical. No, no, I don't do anything then. All right, so you're struck by the talons and then the scorching heat after for 31 piercing. You get oh, uh, yeah. Wait one moment. I'll give you 15 back. Yep, there you go. And then the fiery talons come in and it just seems to be dancing in front of you. The two natural ones just fail to run a grasp, and then it swoops off away from you over here. Maisie. Uh, okay. Quick D&D &D question for you guys here. Hmm? If I whack a Guardian of Faith, like, here, will it take damage every time it fucking flies around like a little bitch? Um, uh, no, it'll only take the damage once per turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But will it just be able to fly over the top of it because it's got, like, a ten-foot sphere, isn't it? Well, it has to enter to, like hit someone what's next to it, right? So, if you plonk it down next to someone, at least. Yeah. Is that worth, would you argue? 
It's 60 guaranteed damage, so... Yeah. Yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. Pop. Yo, clogs. Can you explain to me why you're flying over there in that corner, next, not next to my death machine that gives you plus 2 AC? Just asking for a friend. Where are you placing it? Draw it. Because if you all group, then it does 12 damage every time it comes near you. Yeah, but then certainly I should go away from the death oh, machine. Draw, right? I'll put it... Spirit right next to ten foot. And... Yeah, it's 10 foot by 10 foot. Uh, in that case, I'll put it... Yeah... Oh, well, let me draw a square. But it's probably because I'm an idiot, not anything else. Give me a sec. Okay. There you go. Right there. Okay, yep. Yeah. Use then, the square function, but you drew it freehand, which is just more authentic. Because I like it authentic, yeah. I keep my artistic roots. And I'm going to pop another crown of souls at him. That oh. autistic roots. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah, that's a hit. But it's not a crit, sadly. No, it's not a crit, no. Unless yeah. you want to give me that advantage? No. No, I do not. Because you're a tight bastard. Well, you, you know you have inspiration, right? I mean, like, you could have It was used me it. that hacked your Apex account. I'm sure it was. <laughs> you could have it back when I have a level up. <laughs> Are the inspiration rules, like, on here? Can we view them? I'm pretty sure I put them here, didn't I? Not visible. I didn't. I'd have to copy them over. And now you can log into Roll20 to check them. But when we're 20 minutes away from the end of the session. <laughs> it might be worth it though. Alright, so Maisie, at the end of your turn, it does indeed swoop in to Elzef and Macra, and the Guardian does strike it, right, for 20 damage. And it can do up to 60, right? Yeah. So Elzef and yeah. Macra both take 12 fire damage. Bullshit. The chicken is also cheating. I uh, just to point out, it doesn't disappear when it's tried to do um, like three attacks. It disappears yeah. when it's done sixty total damage, no matter yeah. if it's resisting or not. Yep. Oh yeah, Adrian, um, that twelve fire damage is six. You got resistance because I've been attacking it. Nice. I mean, that also works for last turn's fire damage, so I actually get twelve back. Yes. All right, Elzef, it's your turn. Um, mm -hmm. I arc bolted. Todd yeah. ended up in a wind tunnel. It actually, it's hit. Okay, it takes six extra from Arcane Firearm. And then the Death Machine shoots it. Alright, you begin to notice that its luminosity is dying, it's flickering. Parts of its body are beginning to drip off and fall and dissipate in the wind. Okay, and turn. Alright, at the end of your turn, it swoops down to the here. And then over towards Lineros. In Macra, Elzef. <laughs> And Lanieros take 12 fire damage. No, I have half because Macro has been attacking it. Mm -hmm. And then Macro, it's your turn. It's done 100 and what? 133 damage and he hasn't even attacked me yet. Uh, right, so how far off the ground is it? Uh, 10 feet. That's sound. He'll, uh, he'll go over here. Uh, he won't be that close, he'll go that close. He'll manifest an echo in its grill. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't take fire damage for a change and then recklessly attack through that. That's so just. The rules. Let's roll that twice. For it. Oh, oh that's, a, that's a tasty crit. My tits. Um, can I do it? I've already got one smite. Only oh. one smite? It's from a weapon. No. Oh. Right, so Macra, you your echo appears, slices, basically bravers it like like Cloud from Final Fantasy VII, and then leaps up and attacks it from beneath. Because yeah, they'd have to like a, like appear slightly midair, jumps towards it, cuts it, and then slices up. Um, at the end of your turn, it flies away from Lanieros. Um, I imagine my echo pops because it immediately takes twelve damage. Yep. You? In fact. You wouldn't even get the second attack off. Ooh, that's cheeky. Um, oh, do I run up to it for the second attack then? Do I take 12 damage for the second attack? 12 no, damage for 12 damage? Once, okay, yeah, yeah, I'll give it its HP back. 
Oh, wait, I have to do a con save because I took the fire damage, don't I? Yep. Looks like some fiery talons are coming down towards you, Lanuros. Does it look like they're going to hit? It does look like they're going to hit. Well, you know <laughs> what's going to happen. Kit, lads, beer, shield. <laughs> <laughs> All right, despite yeah. the shield, the heat finds its way past. Mm -hmm. Um... No, because I'll actually, if I get dropped to zero there, I'll fall and die. Fuck. <laughs> uh, Linares, it's your turn. <laughs> um, I'll face step away. Okay. <laughs> and, um... Hmm. Why is the symbol for face step just a random flowchart? <laughs> <It's just> like... <laughs> That's the way that the Nero That's speaks. Exactly what I was <laughs> That's how it got imported, don't ask me. Uh, Elf just whips out his Excel spreadsheet and just uh, mm -hmm. whips up a quick bit of magic. Um. Well, um. I think we'll go for that. For the dead. I'm afraid it passes the saving throw. Yeah, of course it does. I think you're targeting the wrong things for this thing. Well, I mean... I can use Firebolt instead if you think it's better. Okay. Yep, All win. Pew. <laughs> yep, you appear outside the cavern entrance. <laughs> Magic missile striking it in the chest. All right, it's turn. Uh, this is no longer there. It will use a swoop attack. Attack Macra with its beak. Missing. And soars off this way. Yep, it can reach there. Uh, e no. You don't. It's weird. You take the damage. If you were hit by the beak, you would have taken fire damage. If it uses its swoop, you would have taken damage. But it didn't actually use the swoop. It just uses its attack and movement. Cool. All right, Maisie, your turn. Okay. I think it's currently out of range What's... for your crown of stars, but yeah, it is. What's my fly speed though? Uh, sixty, isn't it? Cool. Uh, and if I move within range, how big long as big as the range of the death machine, Adrian? Uh, ten feet. Ten feet. So she might move here. Skidoosh. Mm hmm Yeah, so you fly over. And then that should be enough for her crown to hit. Let me just give that a fresh little measure. It is. Mm hmm Uh, so... Is it enough for Eldritch Blast to hit, though? Is it 120 or 60? I'm not sure with Eldritch 120. Blast. 120. Oh, 120, go. so she'll hit that, too. Pop goes the weasel. Oh, oh! Weasel. Although this is shit. You know, I specifically came over it so that I wouldn't. Oh! oh. Specifically Jesus. came over there to get boned. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, here we go. Your crown of stars is out of range. You've knocked it back um, 30 feet. Oh, clever. Clever little bastard. Which is... Can you choose not to do the knockback? I'm cool. just looking, because that's exactly my first thought. Because that's a bit I of believe it is a choice. Yeah. Oh, I choose not to, because it's far enough away. Alright. That's good. That's, that's fine that's for right. me! I realised I didn't have to be a dick about it. <laughs> you can just, uh, just do it twice, and then... Just yeah, doing range. exactly. <laughs> okay. I choose to do it twice! Just no, just leave it right as. Leave it right. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine where it is. I'm only. I'm no, I don't mind. Are you, are you knocking it back twenty feet? Uh, no, I'll leave it. Don't worry. Okay. And then the crown of stars hits it and it bursts. But all of you see, what looks like as it bursts, it hits the ground, forms a shell, about ten foot tall and about maybe eight foot wide of an egg that pulsates with red light. And that's the time to get it. 
Elza, right. for your turn. How long do we have before to pop this egg? Maisie was the right one to do the last bit of damage, I guess. I... It's gone wild for its next turn. I shoot it with the death machine. You in range? Death machine, of course it's in range. I wonder if she'd chosen to push it off the edge if the egg would have just fallen down and cracked. <laughs> That's why I was afraid of flying yeah. over the edge. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 17? Seven. it into the water. Uh, 17's actually hits the egg, but doesn't break its shell. It has a f five feet knockback, the death machine. Hey. But, but it, doesn't, it doesn't hit. Oh, it doesn't. Give me a second, uh, I'm just quickly listening. Because you said it hits it, but it's not enough to crack the shell. Yeah, that's no, yeah, that's what I meant, like it's armor, it's like it's hit it. But... a very confusing word. I will... Yeah, but I don't always like to say it just misses, so I try to kind of say armor absorbs things as well. So you said something confusing instead, no, I understand yeah, right. perfectly. Linear, the Linearus will have something gusty up his sleeve, I don't And know as the, uh, like, hits it, as you see the attack nearly hits it, it releases a pulse of fire and trees around it set on fire. Anything else, Elsef? Yeah, I'm just thinking if I have anything to push this thing like 10 feet and end this encounter. Um, I could Thunder Wave, but I'm not in range for Thunder Wave. That sucks. That sucks. Yeah, I'm just gonna fucking Arc Bolt it. Alright, so the arc, the lightning strikes it, but does no damage. Doesn't seem to affect it. God damn it. I am not done. Macro. Fly over and push over the edge. Shit, Macro goes... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. He then measures you know, A leaf blower. Oh you fuck it right, if he goes there, is he within ten feet? Where is the egg? Okay, the egg is literally here, just on that square. Ah! I will draw the ah! egg. I will draw it. Ah! I can only really manifest Echo 15 foot away, and then he's only got to the egg in the middle of the token. Bastard! That's how far away I am. I'm trying. Uh, Give me a second. It's actually really hard to control this. <laughs> uh, right, uh, what else can he do? Um, oh, he has a plan. Uh, yeah, I can still do that, I guess. He'll just okay. fucking throw it. He's not going to be massive damage, but it'll be better than. Yes. He'll uh, manifest an Echo. That far? How close? Uh, yep, cool. And then... God, that's a nuisance. He's just too far away. But he'll uh, pull out a javelin and just throw it because it's 15 foot away. Alright, cool. Kopash using his... through his... Echo, he will... Can you throw shit recklessly? No. No. no just throw them. 25 and 9. Oh no, yeah, so. We'll have yeah, so it'll be minus 2. To yeah. It'll be 1. Alright, so plus, plus 5. Yeah, so you throw the javelin, and before it before it even hits the egg, it just burns up to cinders and does nothing. That's a nuisance. Probably needs magical weapons. Uh, Macro around his go. Lanieros. Get me my bonus, boys. Well, <laughs> all of our bonuses. Yeah, I think it's worth it. So I'll run over here, and uh, a <sighs> giant hand appears next to the egg. Mm -hmm. Oh, Macro could action surge. Stop silly. And um, the hand then just Mike drops the egg off the side. Give me a second. How much HP does it have? Just to see if we can. Got a lot, isn't it? Um, yeah, 146. Yeah, I don't think 5d10 is going to break that. Um, no. Watch, uh, watch the egg just hatch as it's falling through mid -air. It might. Learn near Ross. Yeah, because no, by the rules in, like, like I think it was Xanophars, it falls like 90 feet on its first turn and then falls the rest. So it might actually. Eat it. You eat it. Yeah, okay, Fucking so... Lob it. You, you, Linus, you drop, drop it off it, the edge, you right? Eat you eat it? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Just fucking pow, terminal velocity here to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess in in its most uh, um, technical like, option, we'll just grapple it and then drop it, since that's what it can do, so... Alright. You know. 
Yeet the egg is what we call that in technical terms. Uh huh. Yeah, so it begins falling. I guess all win. I mean, I guess if it's falling, uh, we're just gonna end track with it any further. It's gonna, yeah, it's just gonna yeah. hatch in fucking mid air. I don't think this was the play, you know. Mm. I mean, mm. we tried. I don't know if there's much that I can do. Guess I'll just. Move up. Mm -hmm. Below you, uh, Matt Kral, you hear a resounding bang. And then the islands rock slightly. All of you have to like get your footing. And then appearing over the edge is the Phoenix. I mean, seriously. It fell 90 foot, then it flew. No wonder he got banned from Apex. <laughs> yep. <laughs> It flew 90 foot up, it's got 120 foot flying, so it's still got 30 feet. So you can't... you can't legalize your bullshit with math. And then Wall Street it, tried that. The echo pops. Does indeed. Yeah. Actually, no, the echo doesn't pop. It's gonna dash. Over here. I'm, I'm gonna sell all my Phoenix stock. <laughs> <laughs> Maisie, it's your turn. Okay. What's she gonna do? She's lost her bonus. She's very sad. Mm. Uh, uh, Eldritch Blast it is, I think. Okay. Where is it? Uh, where is it gone to? Oh, it's gone to there. Yeah, it okay. dashed. I didn't use any attacks or anything this round. Okay. Well. Are you pushing it back? Uh, uh yeah. It's two solid hits. So, uh, Linearos, flying up in the air, it's just kind of like not <laughs> back but over your head as you duck. Anything else? Uh, no, pass. You got, you've still got four stars left. Oh yeah, sure, shit, sorry. No, I'm apologising to you because you're a kind man for reminding me. I will drop it like it's hot. What we tried to do with the phoenix. You're a <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah, so it blasts and you realise it's already starting to deteriorate. So, But at the end of your turn, it does swoop past Linearos and Orwin, dealing 12 fire damage to you both. Uh, in fact, oh, it's come within 10 feet of the thingy majig. Yes, so it does take... Oh, fuck off. Yeah, so... As it comes, as it's about to swoop over Elzef and go for um, Maisie, the guard in the face just cuts its head clean off and it... Boom, Falls down into an egg right in front of it. Fuck think, that egg up. I think I fucked myself up now. Holy shit. No. Balls. Wait, does the Guardian of Faith only attack when you move? Yeah. You gotta that's... move into it. Alright, that's better. Well, I think also if you start a turn in right? Also, if you're an egg, it does double damage. Consistently. <laughs> <laughs> All right. After Maisie's goes, Elzef. Uh, it landed here. The egg. No, no. That the eggs. The eggs right next to you. Oh, oh okay. it's the start of your turn, right next to the egg. Um, can you do me a favour and make a dexterity saving throw as a wave of flame comes out? No. Nope. You take twenty-nine fire damage. Would I be right in saying it cannot avoid like? Touch attacks. It looks like it's got AC, like a like you've seen it like absorb attacks. Mm. All right, now it's Elsa's turn. Oh yeah, I've got to make a spell attack. Mm. Crack it. I cast, I cast uh, Thunder Wave to push it fifteen, uh, ten feet back. Okay. What off the edge? Yeah. Okay. You realise that the thunder does nothing to it. Yeah, but the knockback does, right? Yeah. May move. Alright, and then it begins tumbling. Okay, let's hope it goes down. I'm gonna cast uh, Yeet. And my turn. Alright, Macra. 
Macra. Managed, should have measured, see if he could get over there before now. Oh no, that's not. Woo! Woo! That's the aura of Macra's stench. Yeah, that's the size idiots. of the egg. <laughs> It's uh, <laughs> about eight foot. It's about ten foot wide and like about seven to eight foot wide, like like you know. So large. Foot. Yeah, but it's been tumbled off the edge now. You send a thunder wave, just roll it off. Yeah, yeah, but I was one, I was asking about the game like statistic size. Yeah, of the, yeah. yeah it's large. so it's not there again. So it's knocked yeah. it off. Obviously. Yeah, it's knocked off. I did. We did say. Stop knocking the fucking egg off. Should should have regenerated again, you twat. Steal damage. Um, can macro get? Uh, how far off the edge is it? 90 foot down. For fuck's sake. Macro stands there with his dick in his hand. Joe's <laughs> <laughs> up. Fuck's sake. Which way not doing that, lad? You can hold there's an action. Lady, there's a lady in the, in the uh, vicinity. Yeah, he's ready in an action to attack the fucking regenerated phoenix when he comes back again. Alright, Lineros. Uh, I'll move my hand over close to me. Mm -hmm. And dodge. Alright. Uh, Owen? I'll move to the edge and pew pew it. Alright. Pew pew it. Pew. Yeah. I'm just quickly checking this out. Just quickly reading something. You just teleport the egg into space. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, so you the missiles go flying over, and you don't hear that resounding whoomph, but you do hear, like, distantly, like, a small sound. And as you peer over, uh, you do see a light a lot further down than last time. As it's reborn Clambled. further down. So it then does dash, but it gives you, just so you know, it's now 60 foot below you. I think like pushing it down isn't doing anything. Well, next turn it'll be, what, 270. And then yeah. the fourth time we do it, it'll actually hit the floor. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually really weird, but true, yeah. Go All with right. the teleport plan. Send it to grilled on Maisie, it's your turn. Before it gets up this time, and then it just plummets down immediately. Yep, amazing. Yeah, well, I just deal damage to the egg. Phoenix yep. are immune to damage. I mean, at least normally they are. Nah. The narrow oh, well, uh, This is a fucky Liam egg. Yes, mm. we can crack this bastard. Yeah, like, the coast is right, you know what I'm like. I always, there's always something. But, however, it is Maisie's turn. And you can see it about 60 foot below you. You don't get a level up. I feel like we're just farming okay. tree this way. Uh, and every time we defeat it, below. we should get the rewards for killing mm -hmm. the Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, she's going to... Uh, she'll address blast it, I guess. There's All not right. much else she can do at this stage. She'll go pop. Misses. Pop. Misses. Pop goes the weasel. And then hits. Hits. And um, I'll whack it another 10. Yeah. Yep, cool. Down to 70 feet. Alright. Anything else? Oh, and she'll move as well. Are yeah, you doing your crown move. of stars because you've got three left? Yes, I am. Thank you very much. You're kind and gracious as always. you got oh, two sorry, left. It's already 70 feet down and we get it, then it would hit the floor. That's a miss, I'm afraid. But you've got two left. It's fine. Do they they stick around those crown of stars? Like if I go into the next round, will they still be there? Uh, yeah. No, okay. like you use the seven of them. Depends if you short rest or not, because it lasts right. an hour. Okay, I will move here, mm -hmm. and uh, actually I'll move here mm -hmm. and end my turn. At the end of your turn, it swoops sixty foot up. Elzef, swoopy bitch. Um, I shoot the bitch. It's now 10 foot below you. Well, that doesn't stop me from shooting it. Misses. Okay, that stops me from shooting it. Uh, uh. 
Well, I'm arcbolting it. Okay, let me give you a. Uh... It actually fails. Alright, cool. Anything else? My stuff got go a bit back. Yep, good idea, because huh. at, at the end of your turn, it swoops over the edge, flies over Macra, all in. And deals 12 fire damage to you both. Ugh. My echo's in the front. I was just the echo or to me. Oh, uh, it would have done to the it's echo then. Would have done it. Echo Alright. Macro, your turn. Um, have I noticed how far this thing's attack thing is? Is it 5 feet or 10 feet? It's 10 feet. I thought it would be. Um, yeah, he's not been there. He'll just... How far? How, how far off the air is it? Sorry. How, where where is it? Is it on the ground or up in the air? It's up in the air by ten feet. It's always up in the air by ten oh, feet. Okay, it's always that's a suit. beautiful. And he just manifests. He takes a step back. Because I mean, if he's ten foot in the air and five foot, yeah, he's fifteen foot away. So I can take a step back about the attack opportunity. He it's within ten feet. feet of the thing. It is. Yeah. You want it? The guardian. Oh. Oh, okay. Alright, so the Guardian disappears, it takes an additional 20 damage. Yeah. Um, he manifests an echo and hits it. Recklessly, of course. Uh, yeah, that's a hit, and that uh, drops it down to zero, which turns it into an egg. It like bursts, and the egg lands in front of you. Fucking cow, that shit. Right, so you're going to echo the so Macro gets in close. How much damage did you take from just the egg? Uh, it's at the start of your turn. It's not the start of your turn. Oh, sound. He just gets in so close to the egg there and fucking recklessly brings the Kopesh down. 21. Clang! You know what? Fucking action surge. Okay. Swings at it twice recklessly. Fuck you, Egg. 31 for 23. Uh, 28 for 17. Clang! Clang! Wank. I fucking hate this Egg. <laughs> Must be sick. Yeah, I um, mean... Macaron backs away from the Egg. Yeah, fuck it. Okay, Laneros? Uh, oh, yeah, I'll just bring it over the Bigby's hand, grab it, and just crush it. Alright, cool. Um... Uh... Alright, so the hand just goes to grab it, grips around it, tries to crush it. You feel like it's not doing anything. I've got nothing, guys. The problem is, I'm just trying to work this out, right? Because of Maisie's position in the initiative order, she's never going to get an opportunity to go for it, is she? I just realised. So I've got such a good something to attempt. But right, it's always going to pop up like a daisy before it's her turn. Probably. Um... Yeah. Uh, but actually, uh, since that bit. was my bonus action with the hand, I will <laughs> just try and see if this works. Yeah, freeze the right, so got... <laughs> Thank God for that, I was going to frost... Uh, yeah, and, and as you cast freeze. Frostbite, it covers around it and it cracks, and then you just... Hey, and it just disintegrates down. Doing. Cold damage, guys. Well done. <laughs> it has 15 <laughs> HP as an egg, and you only had to deal cold and necrotic damage. That was it. <laughs> I don't have either, though. I know, but well done for that. You get four arcane shards. That's 14, guys, if you're keeping track. 14. 14. Macron's taking full credit for the shell team throw ice at it. And that's, where, that's obviously where we'll end today's session.